What is the difference? Right. How like many this? stars are in a galaxy galaxy? Our galaxy has several hundred billion stars. And in a dwarf galaxy? Um, at most, a billion, but more typically hundreds of millions. These are small numbers compared to full up red bloody galaxies. So tiny are dwarf galaxies, and we tend to find them in the vicinity of big galaxies, but you know what happens? You know, they orbit the big galaxy, but their orbits are not stable, and they do a death spiral in, oh. and they get eaten by the larger galaxy. And we have a term for that, it's called galactic cannibalism. In fact, there are stars, there are streams of stars that we see in our own galaxy that have the same trajectory as one another through the stellar system that is the Milky Way. So they, they're, and you follow it and it comes back out and back in again. And so this is evidence that this was once a fleshy but dwarfy galaxy that we ate, ripped apart. And now the, the stars are just trying to have some, the last bastions of a memory of what they once were, because they're getting stretched apart by the, what we call the tidal forces of our galaxy. Does, our, does the Milky Way have dwarfs? Yeah, just, I mean, it has the, well, so, uh, the first science essay I ever wrote was called The Galaxy and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> because at the time, the Milky Way had seven dwarf galaxies really? in orbit around <laughs> it. And then, uh, uh, but dwarf galaxies are very small, they're hard to detect. And since then, we've discovered, you know, a couple dozen more. 